Twanku Miritz is visiting the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh today to hear about the work that two of our fellows have been doing, not just in Malaysia, but all over the world. Both Angus Watson and Andy Kent have spent time in Ukraine recently with UK Med, and they're going to talk to us today about their experience of working in difficult circumstances, difficult environments, and in particular, they're talking about the work done in Malaysia as part of the Twanku Murats Fellowships. So my name's Angus Watson, I'm a surgeon. I'm based in the Highlands in Scotland, but I'm a member of council of the Royal College here in Edinburgh. I was the first uh, Twanku Murat travelling fellow. And so three years ago, I got to spend time in Malaysia with colleagues, going to the jungles of Borneo and seeing colleagues in Kuala Lumpur. I met His Royal Highness then, and so it's fantastic to have him visit here in Edinburgh. So one of the highlights of today's visit will be to take the King and indeed all the delegates through the museum. We're very proud of our museum. There's a lot of artefacts going back hundreds and hundreds of years and yet it's brought right up to date with a lot of the newer innovations. So it's a real opportunity this afternoon to, to highlight some of the, the history of the college but also the current day and the innovations that are making surgery so important for the years to come. We have an active programme in Malaysia of identifying and talking to medical students and junior doctors and engaging them in surgical skills. We have many, many courses available, educational courses, professional courses to encourage medical students to engage in surgical procedures, to engage them and get them really interested in the surgical profession because of course we're only as good as the next generation of surgeons. Well, it's all about being able to access healthcare. Um, so as a college, we can support training of healthcare professionals, whether it's assistant medical officers, medical officers, surgeons, we can support their training. And we can do that using the faculty of remote, rural and humanitarian healthcare. Well, the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh is an international, it's a global charity. We have 30,000 members in 100 countries. So having collaborations such as the one we have with Malaysia is really important uh, to spread the word about what we do as a college, what we do as a global charity, and having people come to Edinburgh to our home is just brilliant. <laughs>